So let's take a look at how to add properties to an object using a for loop. You are provided with an array possible iterable. Using a for loop, build out the object div by 3 so that each key is an element of possible iterable that is divisible by 3. The value of each key should be the array index at which that key can be found in possible iterable. So before we get started, I find it helpful to take a moment to consider what our div by 3 object will look like after we're done executing the logic that we're about to write. We can see that we've established that we're declaring possible iterable here on line 1, which is an array filled with numbers. We are also declaring our div by 3 object on line 2, and currently our div by 3 object is empty. Now we know that we need to fill our div by 3 object with properties, each of which are elements of our possible iterable array that are divisible by 3. If we look at our possible iterable array, we can see that the elements 3, 9, and 6 are all divisible by 3, and should therefore be added to our div by 3 object as properties. Each of these properties needs a value in our key value pair, and that value will be the index at which that key can be found in our possible iterable array. So, for example, in our div by 3 object, we will and we want a key value pair with the key of 3 and the value of 1. The value is 1 because 1 is the index at which 3 can be found in our possible iterable array. So now that we have a better idea of what our div by 3 object should look like when we're done, we can go ahead and get started pseudocoding our solution. So first and foremost, we know that we need to iterate over our possible iterable array using a for loop. In the body of that for loop, we're going to need some sort of conditional statement to determine whether or not our current element is divisible by 3. If we satisfy this condition and our current element is divisible by 3, we're going to want to assign a new key value pair, the key being our current element and the value being our current index. So that should be all we need to get started filling our div by 3 object. So let's go ahead and actually implement our solution and start our for loop on line 5. So we're going to say for let i, and i is going to represent our current index. We're going to start it at 0, and then we are going to run the loop as long as i is less than the length of our possible iterable array, ensuring that we are accessing every element. And of course, after every iteration, we are going to want to increment i. Next, we're going to want to enter the body of our for loop and write our conditional statement to determine if our current element is divisible by 3. We're going to do this by using something called a modulo operator. So we're going to say if our current element which is represented by possible iterable at index i, we're going to use our modulo operator to divide that element by 3 and get the remainder. Now if the remainder of dividing this element by 3 is strictly equal to 0, then we know that the element is divisible by 3. So upon satisfying that condition, we're going to need to assign a new key value pair to our div by 3 object. So first we're going to access our div by 3 object. And using bracket notation, we are going to assign it a new property, which is going to be our current element, which once again is possible iterable at index i. And we are going to assign it a value, which is going to be our current index, which is simply represented by i. So this should be all we need to populate our div by 3 object with the appropriate key value pairs. 
So let's go ahead and log our div by three object to the console to see if we're getting the desired result. Let's run our code. Great, you can see that our div by three object has three key value pairs, the keys, all of which are elements of our possible iterable array, which are divisible by three, the values of which are the index at which each of these keys can be found in our possible iterable array. We can see that the key of three can be found at index one, the key of six can be found at index three, and the key of nine can be found at index two. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.